Let's discuss how solar energy will alter the world today. Over the past 10 years, we have already made enormous strides in this area. With solar energy generation in the United States growing from just 0.34 gigawatts in 2008 to about 97 gigawatts in 2022, it will account for over 3% of all electricity generated in the country. The price of solar photovoltaic panels has decreased by an average of over 70% during that time, finally reaching a point where they are economically competitive with other energy sources like natural gas. We are aware that Tesla entered the solar energy industry in 2016 when it purchased Solar City's technology and infrastructure. However, Tesla Solar has been somewhat inactive since that point. Yes, they do sell and install a lot of solar panels and their experience with the Solar Roof product is at best described as mildly to moderately successful. However, Tesla has been largely overtaken by the solar industry as the market quickly moves toward greater efficiencies, a wider range of applications, and a massive scale thanks to automation and autonomy. Where do you think solar energy will be in 10 years? And what will Tesla need to accomplish if they want to overtake the competition or even take the lead? For the first time in a long time, big things are happening at Tesla Solar. In their financial report for the second quarter of 2022, the company stated that they had deployed 106 megawatts of solar cells, the most in a single quarter since 2017. And it's safe to say that this was not merely an accident but rather a verifiable indication that the company is focusing on solar energy with a renewed sense of urgency. Even though import delays were still a big problem that was out of their control, Tesla said in the report that they had been able to work with more suppliers to help the industry grow. The company also says that its installation team have been working to improve installation efficiency so that they can support higher volumes and more stable economics. This is crucial turning point because similar to Tesla vehicles, there has been never a supply issue with Tesla solar products, only a demand issue. Following that report, we discovered more information when Tesla Energy's internal meeting minutes were revealed significant changes would be made in the second half of 2022. Seth Wingler, who is the senior manager of solar products and engineering at Tesla, talked about many of the changes that are happening behind the scenes to make Tesla solar better. Greater vertical integration of their product lineup is the most crucial of these. The biggest change so far started in 2021 when Tesla started moving away from using solar panels panels and inverters made by third parties. Tesla has been using inverters from the Israeli firm Solar Edge and panels from the South Korean energy company Hanwha. This was exclusively switched over to Tesla's own solar products last year in 2022. In the meeting, Wingler reportedly said, We are heavily investing in Tesla products in 2022. What will happen exactly is unknown to me. We want to maintain our privacy, but we anticipate significantly better installation efficiency, aesthetics, and product performance across the board for PVs, solar roofs, and power walls. The main conclusion is that installation efficiency has been significantly improved. Just quickly install the panels on the roofs. We are aware that new solar roof version 3.5 is a component of the solution. Currently, this is only being tested in the residences of Tesla employees, although we don't know much about it yet. Early reports seem to suggest that the product's durability and simplicity of installation have undergone the most significant changes. The energy efficiency of Tesla solar roofs version 3 was already improved in 2021, going from 58-watt capacity tile to a higher maximum power output of 71 watts, an increase of about 22%. The capability and performance are thus present, but the company's installation pace has remained appallingly slow. The results from Q2 2022 shown an average of fewer than 20 Tesla solar roofs installed each week, and according to reports from Electric, those installation have now completely ceased. The release of solar roof version 3.5 5, which should enable them to deploy these roofs at a higher volume than ever before, will, in the best case scenario, allow them to restart those installation later this year. Although it's unlikely that it will never match Elon's forecast of 1,000 roofs per week, progress is progress. 
Solar panel installation on roofs is a simple win and excellent way to power a home with environmentally friendly energy. However, that won't be sufficient to truly power a country. If you want to actually transform the world, we need to think bigger. While it is clear that Elon Musk and Tesla have not yet entered a large-scale solar market, another innovative business supported by other extremely wealthy men have already begun to influence the sector. You may have heard that Terra Base Energy, a company backed by Bill Gates, has started using autonomous robots to build solar panel farms. Although Bill Gates' name has been prominent in the news coverage of this story, Breakthrough Energy is the source of the funding. They also have some investors you may be familiar with, including Jack Ma, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, and Michael Bloomberg to name a few. About a dozen outrageously wealthy people are involved in this and they are all investing in sustainable energy. That ought to indicate something. Terra Base is unquestionably one of the most innovative businesses among the several dozen in which this VC has invested. And in my opinion, they provide an excellent vision of what Tesla Solar could become with enough time and funding. As we previously stated, Terra Base is unique in that they build its massive solar farms using autonomous robots. They simply left the robots to work their magic and return to find a solar power plant in place. Since automation equals efficiency, and efficiency equals lower cost and higher volumes, we can infer from Tesla's experience with the production of vehicles that automation equals efficiency. The startup recently completed its first commercial project in which its robots allegedly installed solar panels totaling 10 megawatts. This is a far cry from what they hope to build at the terawatt scale. The terawatt only has 1 million megawatts, but it's a great beginning and a proof of concept. According to estimates from the U.S. government, 22,000 square miles of solar panel would be needed to generate enough electricity to power the entire country, for size that is roughly Lake Michigan size. Just consider the resources needed to construct something that size. We obviously don't want to power the entire country with a single massive solar installation, but in order to accomplish this, we will need a ton of smaller installations. Automation and robotics need to be built in the process so that they can be done quickly and cheaply. And that has nothing to do with stealing people's job or swapping out people for machines. That's just acknowledging that we don't currently have enough labor to build additional infrastructure on an unprecedented scale, much less maintain the existing infrastructure. And that brings us right back to Tesla and the question of how they can improve Tesla's solar to become a big part of this global change. Before we get any deeper into this interesting topic, please give a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video so far. And stay tuned until the very end to find out if Tesla is really ready to take over the solar energy industry. Now going back, we are aware that Elon Musk is fully committed to robotics, having already developed self-driving cars and currently developing an autonomous humanoid robot that is intended to replace people in dangerous, monotonous, and boring jobs. And because it has been making changes quickly to its self-driving car program for the last 7 or 8 years, Tesla has become a world leader in robots and real artificial intelligence. Large-scale solar panel installations will probably be possible with the first-generation Tesla bot. Elon has been marketing his Optimus as more of a general purpose droid that can assist with household chores, mow the lawn, and care for the elderly. However, we have already seen how quickly Tesla can grow. Therefore, it's possible that their first robot will be a glorified C-3PO, but it's also possible that they'll quickly expand the Tesla bot lineup to include robust worker robots like those used by TerraBase. The specifics are unknown as of yet. The business is keeping its card close to its chest. They claim, however, that their robot can lift entire solar panels arrays and place them in automatic sun trackers. So once you start thinking in this kind of headspace, it becomes pretty obvious just how Tesla exciting technology would scale up from megawatt hours to terawatt hours. Just picture a fleet of autonomous Tesla semis transporting massive batteries in solar panel arrays. These are unloaded on site onto trailers being pulled by autonomous cyber trucks, which position them for the final installation by heavy-duty industrial strength Tesla bots. Everything is zero emissions, electric, self-driving, secure, reasonably priced, effective, and most importantly, quick. Is that just a wishful thought? I'm not sure. Maybe. But it's also difficult to believe. That is merely an example of what might occur if the Tesla ecosystem were to be simply scaled up to the size it will be in 10 years. However, that's just where my mind wanders. What do you think the future holds for Tesla Energy if they're able to expand and innovate for a very long time? Please share your theories in the comment section below. 
And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I am Jules. Please subscribe to our channel for more technology updates and like and share this video. Now, if you're interested to know more about technological energy updates, click and watch the next video here.